My brothers on Earth. We look forward to being with you very soon. Our ships are being tidied up and decorated, to welcome many of you who want to be with us, who want to get to know us, and get to know our vehicles. It will be very interesting, it will be very pleasant, to welcome each one of you to our ships. I must tell you that this is very close to happening. No, I don't say close in our time, I say next in your time. The truths will appear very soon, and you will be able to be with us whenever you want, whenever you feel safe to visit us. I'm not going to promise you that we'll be able to travel around the universe yet, because your physical outfit doesn't allow it. Then you can just get to know our ships. We can take a tour of your planet, so you can see it from space, this will be possible and you will love everything you will see. Your planet is very beautiful, it is very beautiful, and I can tell you that your planet is very reminiscent of our home, our planet, our group of planets. The Pleiades are also very beautiful. Each planet has its own beauty, it has its own appropriate atmosphere for the beings that live there. So we don't have buildings like you here, because we live everywhere, there is no property, there is no house, nature is us and we are nature. So we often form groups and stay together for a long time, but we can change places, including planets, whenever we want. There is no concept of ownership. This is mine. No, everything belongs to everyone. It is a very evolved concept of society, in which no one is in need. Everyone can have whatever they want because everything is available to everyone. Nobody needs to steal, because everyone has everything they want at hand. So we often find it difficult to understand certain habits that you have here on the planet. We find it extremely strange how much you cling to certain things. When we say our ships here, it is so that you understand the concept of ownership, but our ships can be manned or inhabited by any being. All evolved dimensions think the same way. We do everything for the whole. So when we build a ship, beautiful and wonderful, any people can have the right to it, because we did it thinking about the whole, not thinking about us. For a while, we will be able to inhabit it, we will be able to travel in it. It can be ours during that time, then we release this ship into space and whoever finds it is its owner, that moment. Then, many of you may say, ah, but aren't there thieves in space? Understand this, of course there are always two sides. Many of our ships have already been stolen, as you understand, and they are in the hands of those who today dominate you, or rather, dominated you, and with that they got a lot of our technology. So is it worth continuing to create these ships, so powerful, for them to use for evil? Think about this, everything we do is for the whole, and if they take it for themselves, they have made a choice. Of course, whatever we create, we are always careful to create the opposite. What I mean? When we create a weapon and place it on one of our ships, we also create what will protect us from the same weapon, as we know that it is possible for anyone to take over our ship. So the concept is different. There is no concept of possession, of property, everything belongs to everyone. Within our planet we have these rules. Each planet has its rule, as you have your rules, totally different from ours, but you will learn over time, when you evolve, to think in a different way. You will still have houses to live in, because some things are so ingrained in your minds that you need a long time to adapt. So your houses, in the fifth dimension, are ready and they are beautiful, and whatever you can take from what you have today, and that is for the good of all, you can take. No, no one is going to make a change, there will be no vehicles carrying your changes, everything will be transposed, it will be raised in vibration. Because your furniture, your possessions, do not resonate with the Quinta. So they will also have to evolve. And don't worry, nothing will be lost. We have very effective control over this. Nothing will be lost, and you will have your things, if that is for the good of all. If that is not an object of attachment, 
you will have it. If it is something that brings joy, that brings beauty to the planet, it will be brought to the fifth dimension, otherwise it will not. We are giving you some ideas about what you will find in your new life. So start preparing yourself, because many of you will be able to arrive here with just your human clothes. No, don't worry, you won't be naked here, you will come dressed, because you still have this concept, of ugly, of modesty, which over time you will lose, because it will not matter. Your bodies, being balanced, will not be different everyone will be equal. Today your bodies are different because of the imbalances you caused in them. So, with everyone being equal, who will attract attention? Nobody. So, everything will be a change of habit, a life change for you. So we can only tell you to start preparing, start letting go of everything you have. Assume that you are going with nothing, and when you get there, you will be surprised at what will go with you. It will be much more pleasant than you waiting for what's going to happen, and getting there not seeing anything. So my brothers, there it is. This is our message today. We are so excited to be with each of you, visually, physically. Let's stop this story of staying away. We will be very close, very close indeed. We are the Pleiadians and we are truly excited to meet each of you personally.